Hello and welcome to my channel. Are you looking for healthcare related dashboard design inspiration? Then here I will show you five dashboard designs that will help you in your next project. And if you want to learn how to create such dashboards, then you can join my training, which I conduct for advanced Tableau dashboard training. With that, let me show you those dashboards. All right, so here is my first dashboard, or here is the first dashboard via Joshua. So this is a healthcare related dashboard. As you can see, this is the, uh, this, the name has been given as uninsured. That means how many people are insured and uninsured. So a critical COVID-19 responses help combat the pandemic. The economic consequences are exposing harsh reality. So some commentary about it. And then information about, you know, uh, how much people are uh, insured uninsured based on their unemployment level uh, not there but overall unemployment level like you have low unemployment so you can select that and if that is a the case then it basically reflects here and here in the visualization that people are insured employer and you know medicaid is less and uh, you know these states in united states you how many states are in positive or in red category like tax uh, sorry taxes is the the one which is uh, having forecasted coverage shift as negative highest value same is the case with the florida which is mentioned even over here it outlines the states refuse the affordable care acts expansion of medicaid the state-run health care coverage for low-income individual and and uh, families and nebraska did not accept adopt the expansion just has not implemented right so that basically shows the uh, information about each of the state right and over here total coverage shift in each state right so you have california which is in positive for forecasting perspective and over here you have uh, i think the texas which is the negative down below what is actually the total or all in all what is coming out right which which you can play around so something really nice uh, from an overall um, management perspective like you want to view as to which state is doing good bad uh, and based on some what if scenario is is being covered here so link of this dashboard is present in the description right so you can go and check it also you can look at more dashboard from joshua by clicking on his profile with that, let me show you the second dashboard. So second dashboard is about the birth control as the name of the dashboard. And this dashboard is in the form of a story. And I'll show you in a minute. This is created by Vivian, right? So this is based on a survey of 20,759 people based on what birth control procedure that they are taking. So, or the method. So here, uh, high level information about a percentage who tried to who tried a particular method right all the way right from condom as a birth control to iut and their respective percentage along with that the efficacy like how effective this percentage is right where i think the iud which is adopted the less very less is, is has the highest efficacy comp even the sterilization over here right also uh about these methods if let's say you know you are creating it for some other like a heart disease or something like that right uh, if you want uh, what they have given is is the definition so if you click over here it basically gives you the definition of each of the method right which then you can hide it very very useful for those uh, who really don't know about much about any method or any procedure right so definition go in a long way to help consume your visualization in a better way then percentage uh, of the people using each method per age like 15 to 44 uh, each of these methods and then the age is over here the chart basically indicates uh, in the early age or late age you know what is a method that is being applied right so gives an idea as to uh, what is usually the choice based on your age right so again, as you can see, a story is continuing. We have seen by age. Now we are seeing by percentage citing side effect as a reason for stopping birth control, right? So these are like the top basically, uh, uh, you know, reasons 
or you know what they have caused, uh, mentioned as a side effects in terms of percentage like injection pill uh, iud and condom so a small commentary about that and then of those who cited side effects that means next visualization is based on those who cited side effect their specific reason were like what was the uh, whether it was allergy pain did not like it whatever is the reason right is something so allergy is probably the highest one right in case of the first method in case of the second method weight gain third method is abdominal fourth method is what you have is a weight gain right so back pain allergy and uh, abdominal back pain is, is or the weight gain is something which is coming as the highest one so what should i choose right so it's it's each person is different their choice whether they take birth control is completely on your own because depends on right and in what age you are so looks like in female the sterilization is something which is a preferred choice when they are in their later later stage uh, as compared to the pill condom or injection which is usually preferred in case when when you are young right so that's the second visualization so something you can adopt look at more visualization by vivian and get more inspiration the third one is the kidney transplant dashboard what you have is the kidney donation saves life. You have specified the range from 21 to 22. Also a link to find a transplant center. So you can click that will open up a page where you can find uh, the transplant center. Down below basically KPIs, how many total kidneys transplanted, people who are in wait list, uh, kidneys from living donor, and then kidney transplant by state so clearly california texas new york is where you know highest transplants are going on even you can click let's say on new york that will basically change show you the trend the kpi will going to change similarly california if you click on that the kpis and the trend will show you some testimonial down below over here right so this is created by Mark. Look at more inspiration from Mark by clicking on his profile and hopefully you will find more and more better ideas for your next project. Next one is, I really like it, uh, Master of Sleep. As you can see, it is a shape of a person who is sleeping. And then with the help of the visualization, you can see wherever I point, you know, it's basically a daily input of uh, how much, I would say daily or maybe after you know certain interval you have the uh, information about how much slept sleep a person in this case Lindsay has uh, slept right so amazing visualization by Jessica you know clearly indicating when when is the best average best weekday in terms of sleep is uh, Monday right and then this visualization shows uh, the the color shows whether it's a poor quality, it's a good quality or a great quality. You can hover over to any place and uh, look at the date, how much sleep and uh, sleep score, right? So very useful uh, and very innovative visualization. So I thought of showing you. Um, the next visualization what I have for you is more in the form of, uh, you know, a disease. Uh, which uh, you want to do a reporting. Let's say you are part of a department, a healthcare department and want to do a, some sort of a reporting based on a disease like in this case, malaria cases, like how much it's an overview of reporting as in, in a given month, uh, how much reporting has happened, right? And then assessing the overall risk based on risk overview for province, Southern Province District, malaria incidence per thousand population so the kpi defined by your department and then their information by district down below by detection right on the right you have the filter where based on what you want to filter right similarly monitoring low incidence areas again you know with the help of the filter looking at the specific information reporting from health facilities and finally managing district uh, data quality so sort of a dashboard style, multiple dashboard combined here uh, for the purpose of reporting any critical disease properly. So that's mainly the five dashboard what I liked, right? You can go to the Tableau website, Tableau Public, find more and more inspiration. But this is these five are the one which I wanted to show you and I hope you like it. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.